Here we have it, another Simpsons done. And this is the custom paint that our Steven did. Uh, you'll notice the sides, how beautiful it is. Black with the characters actually cut out. This is the original artwork. There's Steven back there. Steven, how long did it take? About four hours. I'll tell you what, let's cut to it right now and you can see. Now Steven has cut the black out. As you can see, the blue got very discolored. But he's cut all the black, he's done all the edges very carefully with a paintbrush. Now it's filling in with high gloss black. Then, Stephen will go over all the characters again. Stephen, what time, how long ago did you start? About two hours ago. Okay. So you can see this is very time consuming, but wait until you see how neat it looks when it's done. This is Stephen's own idea. He's, I think we're the first ones to do something like this, right, Stephen? I would think so. This will be Stephen's second Simpsons. The customer actually ordered it because he loved how nice it looked on the other one. Steven's making very good progress here, as you can see. Quite a difference, huh? You already have a new overlay on it, so we're still working on the inside. You can see it's kind of like a rat's nest in there, so we're rebuilding the monitor right now. We have to take this goofy foil uh, box off of there and change the power supply too. Pretty nice job, huh? Look, brand new overlay, courtesy of overlays.com, uh, arcadeoverlays.com, wrong one. We have a new marquee coming. It didn't come in in time, but that's easy. So we put the used one in for now, and we're gonna send a new one out as soon as that comes in. Beautiful job, it's all been restored. I will tell you, this was an actual overhaul. Customer bought one of these on eBay. It was dreadful when it came in. You saw some pictures of it. Everything was hanging off, had a plain black overlay. We soon changed that, didn't we? New T-molding, new buttons, the joystick and everything. All the wires were yanked off. It was a mess. It's all been fixed. See how nice it looks up front? And look what we do here. We put in free play buttons. They're slide on terminals, so the person could convert it back to coin up if you wanted to. But this way, when you open, you don't have to open the door and put credits in. Each one is color matched cleverly to the player, so you can push the buttons on what you want. Jonathan, get some detail on how nice the side art came out. Isn't Steven wonderful? I should point out everybody, a lot of guys working on this. Wallace, uh, Dan was working on it, Chris was working on it. Back here, I'll show you some things we did. When we opened it up, there were two, two isolation transformers for the monitor. Two of them. I don't know why, because the original one was fine. So we took out the second one. I don't know why they put these in, I don't know. Monitor, the good old 7,000, 25 inch chassis. The very best in the world, very best. Fixed. Power supply was ugly, rusty fan, brand new one, fixed all that. We cleaned up the wiring. It was, a, it, was, it was a pretty messy game when it came in, but now it looks beautiful. Oh, Jonathan, I guess <laughs> to get over get this side, <laughs> we're kind of crowded. We got so many games going out. Oh man, we're working, actually, if you swing around, we're working on a Pac-Man cocktail table. That's going to come along beautifully. It's a really beautiful factory one. Look what's coming. A spring break. Uh, we're waiting on the stickers for this Black Knight. We've got this Fireball 2. Oh boy, that's going to be a honey when we're done. And uh, Class of 81. Harley's being picked up in a few minutes. Panthera, Fireball Classic. Uh, we're going to do a video on this as soon as I get the drop target. We're just waiting on drop targets. Earth Shaker. And it's a, a great pairing for it, but it's going to a different customer. We got it in Simpsons with a brand new old stock play field that was installed before we got it. This was a trade-in, and we just LED'd it and gotten it ready. Just about ready. Came along nice, didn't it, guys? Anyway, the Simpsons is going out today. We're going to be delivering this to the customer. I think we think he'll be very, very pleased. How about buying a real arcade game for your house? My daughter Tammy will show you all about it. Have you ever thought of owning your own video arcade game? 
Welcome to TNT Amusements. We've got plenty of them. We have a hundred different machines for sale in our Southampton PA showroom. Where can you find classics like Galaxian and Mortal Kombat? Pac-Man, Space Invaders, Stargate. Oh, and we have Pinball. If you get tired of your game, we guarantee you generous trade-in credit. How about buying your very own shuffle bowling alley? Oh, I love touchscreen games. How about buying your very own bubbler jukebox that holds 500 CDs? This is electric. And all of our machines come with TNT Amusement's exclusive Find Your Service Plan. Go to our website for prices and more info, tntamusements.com. We're in the yellow pages under amusement. Ah, living is good, isn't it, folks? That's all for now. Good night.